What's going on, y'all? It's CKJ. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you for stopping by, man. Today, I got a video that I'm super excited about. I'm calling it the Price is Right NBA Edition. Now, the way this is going to work out is I've got a site that will randomly generate three NBA players. Let's do an example real quick. So, we're going to hit this button, and we got Anthony Edwards, Awesome Reese, and also Josh Christopher. I'm going to get to decide which player I want to try to add to my team. Obviously, in this case, it's going to be Anthony Edwards. And what I got to do is I got to guess the total number of points, rebounds, and assists that he's averaging per game. If I'm within three, then I do get him. But if I go over, just like the Price is Right, then I don't. And I got to get the worst player in the group, which in this case, would be Josh Christopher. But yeah, man, I'm going to repeat this process 10 times to get a 10 man rotation. Then I'll get to rebuild my team and, of course, try to win a championship. This should be a lot of fun. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. And without any further ado, it's time to get into this video. Let's get it. Alrighty, let's get started with our first batch of players as we got, um, not a whole lot, bro. We got Markeith Morris, Ish Wainwright, and also Evan Fournier. That's a pretty tough start, man. I guess I'm gonna go with Evan Fournier here just because of his contract. You know, we can use that as salary filler, but, uh, what is he averaging this season, man? I honestly have no idea. I know he's not in the rotation anymore, so I'm gonna say he's averaging, I don't know, man, maybe like five points, two rebounds, and two assists. Is that too much? That's a total of nine, man. Let's check it out. And, um, I guess we got it, man. Six points, two rebounds, and two assists. That's a total of ten. We said nine, so we are gonna get Evan Fournier. I don't like that's anything too crazy but I guess we'll take it. Anyways, let's keep it moving with our second batch of players as we got Joe Harris, Awesome Reeves, and also Jaden Hardy. Obviously, the guy I want to go with here is Awesome Reeves, but uh, what is he averaging this season, man? I'm going to say maybe like 15 points, about four rebounds, and I don't know, like four assists, I think. That is 15 plus four plus four, which is 23. That sounds about right to me, but honestly, I could be completely wrong. It's just a guess at the end of the day, but let's go check it out, man. <laughs> I really do this thing. Awesome Reeves, 15 points, five rebounds, and five assists. That's a total of 25. I said 23. Austin Reeves, man. And welcome to the team. That's our first good pickup. We're off to a really good start right now. Let's move on to our third batch of players as we got Mac McClung, Blake Griffin, and also Lester Quinones. Yeah, man, it's um, it's not very good. But uh, who do I want here? I guess Lester Quinones. You know, he's young. Maybe he has some trade value. I don't really know. But uh, what is he averaging this season, man? For my Golden State Warriors, I'm going to say about maybe like three points. I'm um, about one rebound and one assist. That is a total of five. Is that too much? Honestly, it might be. Let's check it out. Hey, man, so I guess it actually was too much. Two points, one rebound, and no assist because obviously can't round up. That's a total of three i said five so i was actually way off there it is what it is who's the worst guy that we're getting here i guess it's mac mcclung right i don't think it really matters but i guess we'll take him round number four let's get into it is we got patty mills jason tatum that's obviously the main guy we want i mean there's also kelly olenic but obviously we want jt um what is he averaging this season man i'm gonna say i don't know like maybe 28 points sounds about right to me then about like seven rebounds and about four assists is what I'm going to say. That is 28 plus seven is 35. Then plus four is 39. I feel pretty good about that. I might be a little bit off, but let's check it out, man. This would be big for us. Talk to me, but talk to me nice. He's averaging 27 points, nine rebounds and five assists. That's a total of 41. I said 39. And you know what that means, man. Jason Tatum, welcome to the team. Let's get it. Already we're at round number five now is we got Kobe White, Ron Harper Jr. and also Josh Hart. Um, In this case, I guess I'm going to go with Kobe White. He was having a really good season, but how good of a season is is it? That's a big question. I'm going to say he's averaging like, I don't know, man, 15 points. Actually, that's a little bit too long. I'm going to say like 16. Um, and then about five rebounds and maybe five assists. That's a total of uh, 26. Okay. <laughs> Sounds a little bit high for Kobe White, man. I'm not going to lie, but let's check it out. Hey man, you can't say I don't know ball. Kobe White is averaging 18 points, four rebounds and five assists. That's a total of 27. I said 26. So Kobe White, welcome to the team. That's a nice pickup. Let's move on to what is this round number six? I think I'm pretty sure it is. But anyways, we got Alondis Williams, Troy Brown Jr. And also Matt Ryan. Um, yeah, these guys aren't very good, man. I'm going to go with Troy Brown Jr. Who is at the bottom of the rotation for Minnesota. What is the averaging? though i'm gonna say maybe like four points um about three rebounds and about one assist i think that is four plus three plus one which is eight <laughs> your boy's doing quick maths on this thing if i'm wrong on any of these i apologize but uh yeah let's go check it out bro i'm on fire right now troy brown jr five points two rebounds and one assist that's a total of eight which is exactly what i said welcome to the team my guy i'll take it round number seven let's get it is we got uh jason preston garrett temple and also vince williams jr that's uh not very good i guess i'll go with jason preston who probably has the most value um at least in 2k but uh, what is he averaging this season, man? Honestly, I have no idea. I'm going to say maybe like three points, one rebound, and one assist. That is a total of five. And honestly, that seems like too much. I'm not going to lie. Let's check it out, though. All right, so apparently I'm a casual because Jason Preston got waived in October, and it looks like he's still a free agent. So obviously I was wrong. I mean, I guess I would have gotten it right with last year's stats. Three points, two rebounds, and two assists. That's a total of seven. I said five, but obviously it doesn't count. It is what it is. Also, now that I think about it, I probably should have gone with Vince Williams Jr., who um, actually does play for the Grizzlies. It's all just one big out, man. But oh well, I guess I'll go with Garrett Temple. Why not, man? Welcome to the team. Round number eight. Let's get into it is we got Draymond Green, Rudy Gay, and also Dominic Barlow. Obviously, I'm going to go with Draymond Green, but uh, what is he averaging this season, man? I'm going to say maybe like 
I don't even know, like eight points, about seven rebounds, and maybe five assists. That is um, eight plus seven is 15, then plus five is 20. You know, honestly, I think that sounds pretty right, man. Let's check it out. And it looks like we did get him, man. 10 points, six rebounds, and six assists. That's a total of 22. We said 20. Draymond Green, welcome to the team. It's actually a little bit tough, man, because even though we have gotten most of these right, um, it's not a very good team. I mean, we do got Jason Tatum. That's pretty big. But um, other than that, we got like Draymond Green, Austin Reeves, I guess. It's not ideal, man, but let's keep it moving around nine. As yeah, so we got Shaden Sharp, Mafondu Cabangeli, and also DeMar DeRozan, man. We need this one. Now, I know DeMar is having a down year, but how much of one? That's the big question. I'm going to say he's averaging about 21 points, um, like six rebounds, and also four assists because he does pass the ball. That is a total of 31, and I think that sounds pretty good, man. It might be too high. Let's go check it out, though. Hey, man, put some respect on my name. DeMar DeRozan is averaging 22 points, four rebounds, and five assists. That's a total of 31, which is exactly what I said. We got DeMar DeRozan, man. That's a big pickup. Now we got our 10th and final round. Let's get into it. As we got Romeo Langford, Garrett Temple, and also Devon Reed. That's a little bit anticlimactic, but um, if I'm not mistaken, man, I think Garrett Temple is the only one on a roster. Let me look that up real quick. Yeah, man, so Romeo Langford has not played this season and the same goes for Devon Reed. And since we already have Garrett Temple on the team, man, I think we should get a redo. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. As um, we're going to get Malachi Branham, Omar Yurt 7, and also Robert Covington. It's also not very good, but I guess it is better. Um, I'm going to go with Malachi Branham, who should have a little bit of trade value. What is he averaging this season though, man? I'm going to say like about 11 points, um, three rebounds, and about two assists, I think. That is a total of 11 plus three plus two, which is 16. I don't know, man. That might be a little bit too high, but let's check it out. And yeah, man, it was two highs, averaging nine points, two rebounds, and three assists that's a total of 14 i said 16 it is what it is um who's the worst player here i guess it's going to be robert covington just because he's older i don't know i'm going to go with it but that's our 10 man rotation let's take this team over to 2k and check it out all right man so we got a pretty decent team here we got kobe white austin Reeves, jason tatum demar Derozan, and also draymond green then on the bench you got robert covington we got troy brown jr evan fournier garrett temple and also mac mcclung it definitely is a playoff team but is it a championship team i don't think so you know we definitely need like a true center right now we got draymond green i guess robert covington we're pretty under Size. So let's not waste any more time. Let's look around and see what trades we can do. I think I want to try to get Anthony Davis, man. We haven't had him in a while. So uh, let's try to make this thing happen. We are going to have to do Draymond Green uh, to help make the money match. And then what else do we got here? We got like, um, I guess, Robert Covington. He's making like 11.7. That's pretty decent. Is that enough to make the money match? It is. Okay. All right, man. Let's go ahead and just try some first round picks here and uh, see if that's going to be enough for us. Honestly, I doubt it will be, but you never really know. So uh, let's see. We are going to do what is this like all four first round picks, the most that I can offer why not right let's see if they will say yes to this and they will not okay i kind of figured that i definitely got to get some better players but i do want anthony davis on my team so let's try to make that happen all right we're gonna try draymond green uh robert covington and just see what we can get based off that let's see if we can get like an upgrade overall wise so uh let's see we see uh yaka Pertle there aaron gordon is pretty decent there's also Fred Van Vliet. DeMontis Sabonis is a really good addition, man. Um, Yeah, that's going to be our best offer for sure. No first round picks, no nothing. I'm not complaining. DeMontis Sabonis, welcome to the team. Surely we have enough now, right? Anthony Davis for DeMontis Sabonis and two first round picks. Will they say yes to this? Let's go ahead and find out. Um, They're still saying no. That's totally fine. Kind of expected that. But um, honestly, man, I can get these first round picks back pretty easily. So I'm really not too worried about it. They want DeMar DeRozan. They will give me Drew Holiday. That's actually an interesting offer um, because they do need a point guard. You know what, man? I'm really not too mad at that. I guess we'll take that deal. Anthony Davis, Drew Holiday, welcome to the team. I guess that's going to be our big three, man. Drew Holiday, Jason Tatum, and also Anthony Davis. I think I do want either Austin Reeves or Kobe White to come off the bench. So we do probably need to get like one more starter. Let's look around a little bit more. All right, so it's a pretty small trade, but I'm going to send Bruno Fernando and a second round pick to the Phoenix Suns for Kyle Anderson. That's a nice pickup. We'll take that. What else can I do here, man? Let's try uh, Troy Brown Jr. I guess Kyle Anderson and a first round pick. Can they give me something decent here? Let's go in and find out. As, um, let's see. There's Marcus Smart, and we can actually get a first round pick back, too. That's honestly not bad. He fits the whole defensive thing we got going on. You know, with like Drew Holiday and Anthony Davis. What else is out there, though? Let's see. We got, um, I saw Dennis Schroeder. There is, uh, D'Angelo Russell. Who I'm not gonna lie. I really don't love too much. I think I wanna go with Marcus Smart, man. Again, we get a first round pick back. That's pretty important. I feel good about that, man. Marcus Smart, welcome to the team. Now we got a starting five of Drew Holiday, Marcus Smart, Austin Reeves, Jason Tatum, and also Anthony Davis. It's a really good defensive team, but we do need some more three point shooting. So, um, I'm probably gonna look to upgrade. Austin Reeves. Ideally, I will keep him off the bench. You know, him and Kobe White. That's a pretty good duo for our second unit. I think what I need right now is some first round picks. So, uh, Tamani Kamara and also some seconds here. Can they give me like a first rounder? Let's go and find out. Um, let's see. There's a first round pick 
and cam reddish is not too bad um i see another one yeah we got some options here um but i think cam reddish is our best bet yeah it definitely is man that's a good deal let's do that all right so i made cam reddish a small forward and it did bump him up to a 76 now i can get a first round pick for a man and i guess garrett temple too i'm going back to the team my guy um i'm also just not realizing evan fournier isn't on his usual contract we did a fantasy draft because they didn't get drafted he just went back to a standard deal like a veteran minimum so yeah that's pretty tough we need some bigger contracts um let's try evan fournier and i guess mac mcclung plus a second round pick can that give me like a slightly bigger contract here? I see a six. That's not too bad. It's probably going to be our best bet. Yeah, Ricky Rubio just retired today, by the way. But anyways, we'll take that deal. They won't take Campbell Walker, three M's. That's pretty good. We need whatever contracts we can get, man. And when I put them together, man, we should be able to get someone in like the $10 million range. So let's see what's out there. Uh, there is Jeff Green, 9.6. That's not too bad. I don't really care about the player, to be honest with you. I just want a bigger contract. So uh, yeah, there's like THT, 11 M's. That's good. That's probably the best I can get, man. I'll take that. We should be able to use that contract. And after making a few more trades i do work my way up to frank jackson and mac mcclung back on the team i guess but not for long man i'm trying to get kz apollo about four and a half m's that's a decent sized contract we'll definitely take that now i'm trying to get that three point shooter i was talking about i think i want to get Lauren Markin in it looks like the money matches up here thd and kz apollo let's go ahead and try to get this thing done man i will give up as many first round picks as it takes will they say yes to two no they won't uh, one more first round pick here. Is that enough to get this thing done? And it is. Laurie Markinen, welcome to the team. And that's our starting five, man. We got Drew Holiday, Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum, Laurie Markinen, and also Anthony Davis. Off the bench, you got Austin Reeves, you got Kobe White, and uh, not a whole lot else. We definitely got to get like a nine man rotation. So let me get back to work. Let's sign a few free agents. We're gonna get Joe Ingles on a veteran minimum. He says yes to it. And then we're also gonna do the same for Javon Carter. That's a done deal. And why not get PJ Tucker as well, man? That's a nice pickup. Here's an easy trade, man. Javon Carter and Moses Brown for Josh Richardson and a second round pick. He's gonna go up when I make him a small forward man that's an easy deal I mean, bro i played this game way too much look at the cheat code all the way up to a 79 we'll take that and i think all we're missing now is like a back of four or five so uh let's try met two and also joe ingles can they give me something decent here let's see there is um isaiah jackson that's not too bad we might take that deal man let's see there's also dwight powell that's pretty good and we get mo bomba as well for pj tucker pretty much i think i like that a little bit better let me do that deal now this is a good trade dwight powell mo bomba and a second round pick for zach collins and a first round pick say less bro we'll definitely take that what else do we got left here man we got like miles mcbride and uh frank nilakina plus a first round pick can they give me something decent here i see uh santi aldama that's not too bad there was also like andre drummond but i think lonnie walker is pretty decent because i can make him a small forward he should go up a little bit that sounds good to me let's do that deal and there it is man trey murphy the final piece it took a lot of flipping but i'm definitely happy with that let's make that happen and that's the team man we got drew holiday marcus smart laurie markinen jason tatum and also anthony davis off the bench you got awesome reads you got kobe white trey murphy and we also got josh richardson and zach collins we're definitely ready to win a championship man let's get to simming I man, we won 65 and 17. We'll definitely take that. Uh, let's see. We got Luka Doncic MVP. Do we have anything that concerns us? We got um, Anthony Davis, Defensive Player of the Year. That's really good. What else do we got here? We got Coach of the Year, Mark Dagnall. And then we got Exec of the Year, too. That's cool. What about the LNBA teams, though? Let's take a look at this here. Any love for the Thunder? Yeah, we got Anthony Davis, all defensive first team. That makes sense. And then what else do we got here? It uh, looks like that's it for us. I can't complain, man. We're the number one seed in the Western Conference. Let's take a look at the stats real quick. Jason Tatum led the way for us 23 points, seven rebounds, four assists, one still one block round up round here and uh he shot 42 percent from deep that's good what else do we got here lawyer marketing 41 percent that's good drew holiday 38 awesome reese 42 yeah man we got some three-point shooting kobe white 40 uh trey murphy the third man 44 percent that's insane and then we got zach collins 37 percent too taking a look at the rest of the stats i got anthony davis 18 points 12 rebounds three assists one steal two blocks um lawyer marketing 16 points seven rebounds one assist one steal one block and our man got the bench was awesome reeves 11 points four rebounds and three assists anyways make sure to pause it if you want to take a look at the rest of the stats let's get into this player front and try to win a championship who are we going to face in the first round it's going to be the phoenix suns okay let's take a look at the matchup as they got a men thompson jalen suggs mikhail bridges miles bridges and also chet holmgren it's a good team but i think that we are better so let's get into it as we win game one um let's see two to nothing us it is three to nothing us now and we get the clean sweep okay now we're moving on to the second round going up against the los angeles lakers let's take a look at the matchup as they got De'Aaron fox dejounte murray rj barrett jared vanderbilt and also brooke lopez it's a good team once again though i think we got him beat here so uh let's get into it hopefully i didn't jinx it because i tend to do that but it's one to one two to one us now let's see two to two yeah we got to shorten this rotation real quick Alrighty, we got more minnesota starters not so much for the bench and i did make it a nine-man rotation taking josh richardson out of it is that enough to make it out of this thing man let's find out 
as we uh, win that game that's good and there we go okay so we got a little bit of a scare there but now we're moving on to the conference finals going up against the okc thunder let's take a look at the matchup as they got luka Doncic, zach levine that's a really good backcourt uh deandre hunter keegan murray and also vika zubak i'm a little bit worried but i think we still got this so we win game one let's see it is two to nothing us uh three to nothing guys um i guess i was wrong man we got the clean sweep there now we're in the nba finals going up against the boston celtics let's take a look at the matchup as they got lonzo ball bruce brown jimmy butler pascal siakam and also jared allen talk about a really good defensive team man honestly both of us are this should be interesting but let's get into it as we win game one let's see two to nothing guys uh three to nothing is it gonna be that easy okay they do win one game that's fine three to two please don't game seven bro there it is okay so we do win a championship and it is anthony davis getting finals mvp 24 points 12 rebounds three assists one steal and three blocks shot 40 percent from deep man shout out to him that's gonna do it for me though if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe let me know if you guys want to see me do another prices right maybe with like contracts or something i think that would be interesting but anyways this has been 2kj blessings